This video is recorded for and for India's best academic project contest organized by crazyengineers.com. I am Kapil Kumar Verma. This is an individual entry. My college name is JP Institute of Information and Technology, Noida, Uttar Pradesh. My project title is CRF Cardio Rescue Friend. Now let's talk about the hardware and the concept used in the project. First of all, we talk about the hardware. We basically use four key components. First is LM324, which is a basic and low cost operational amplifier. Secondly, we use Atmega 8, which is a microcontroller we use for the processing purpose in the project. Thirdly, we have GSM module. In the project, we have to send SMS to the people, so we use this module. Fourthly, we have the FM transfer receiver kit. Basically, we have to raise a local alarm dead to wirelessly for that communication purpose and that purpose we use this FM transfer receiver kit. Now the concept used is pulse oximetry logic. In this basically we consider we have placed an infrared LED over here and a photodiode over here. What we do is when the heart contracts in that case the RBC density in the capillaries is more and so we see that it doesn't allow the light to pass through it. We uh, take that case as zero. Second case is when your heart expands. In that case the RBC density is low and your uh, vessels become translucent. In this case we see some light is passing. We consider this case as one. Now we have your uh, number of uh, times your heart expands and contracts and by that we take your heartbeat. Why we need your heartbeat? Basically we want to know that uh, you are in the state of heart attack or not. We take, took the case that if your heartbeat is below 60 or above 100 that is the case of heart attack. So by this way we detect your heartbeat and further processing is done by the circuit that we use. Now let's talk about the block diagram and the process all about. First of all the finger tip has a sensor which takes your uh, heartbeat which goes to the low, low pass filter and the op amp which removes the noise and amplifies the signal as the output of the sensor is not so considerable which can be analyzed by microcontroller so we need to use an op amp, op amp over here thirdly we have the microcontroller which calculates your heart, heart uh, pulse rate and checks whether it is below 60 or above 100 which is the gate of heart attack if, if, if it is so then it is use the transmitter to transmit this signal to the base station which is an alarm over here and sends SMS to the people 5 SMS in an interval of 5 seconds till some of uh, uh, any one of them replies with an SMS or with a call. Let us see the process visualization now. As you can see uh, here is the person that will be wearing a kit in a hand which will be uh, like a glove. From the finger tick here goes his heartbeat which goes to LM324 which is then processed and seen by 8051. Now we have three indicators over here red, green and blue. Basically when your heartbeat is being measured we have a green LED over here. When it is a normal heart rate we have a yellow LED over here. When it is a case of heart attack we have a red out LED over here. And here is the transmitter that sends a signal to the local base station that we have made which will uh, further raise an alarm and uh, send the SMS using the JSM transmitter. Now this is the circuit used for detecting the pulse. First we take the input from the uh, diode which goes to lm 3 uh, first uh, low pass filter which has a gain of 101 then it goes to a second low pass filter which has a gain of 2 so multiplied we have 2 to 2 total gain and then it goes a comparator what we compare is if the voltage is above 3 volts then we take it as 0 and if is it's below 3 volts then it is take it as 1 and this input is uh, goes to the 8051 that is a microcontroller where the volt test is performed this is the device which is made so far. We have the hand glove which can be worn and it can take a reading and all things. And we have the base station 
we will do all the alarming part and the trumpeting part. So, as we can see that this green LED is glowing, which states that yes, my heartbeat is normal. This yellow LED that is blinking, it's saying that the heart rate is being measured. So, the heart rate is being measured. We have a green LED, which means this is a normal state. Now, uh, we have uh, introduced two extra buttons in the device. We came through it if device fails somehow, then there should be a backup program in the circuit. So, failures should be uh, can be of two kinds. First of all, the device is not able to detect the heart attack. So, in that case, we have introduced a manual override. In that state, if a person thinks that it is he is in the state of heart attack, but the device is not detecting it, we have a manual override. So, but uh, if the person use the manual override button, the whole circuitry or the alarm will be raised, and uh, the whole scenario can be triggered. Like I press the manual override, alarm is being raised. So, and now the second failure could be of type if alarm is raised by mistake, or the device take a wrong input, and anyhow the alarm is raised. Like an alarm is being raised. So in that case, I have used the snooze button. So if by mistake the alarm is raised, person can use the snooze button, and the alarm can be shut down. Now, if we want to test it, the device that uh, does it really detect the heart attack, we took a case. In that, I uh, like I measure your heart rating every five seconds. So even if there is no, um, if the sensor not get a single reading within a second, in that case, your heart rate will be below 60. We can easily calculate it will be below 60 because you basically take your heart, heart rate for 5 seconds, then we may multiply it by 12 to get the whole minute reading. So, if even a single uh, reading is missed per second, the reading will automatically be below 60, which will be case of heart attack. So, when I take out this device, we see that the device is raising an alarm. Because in this case, it's not getting a reading, no bleed is there, which says that it is a case of heart attack, heart has stopped beating and alarm is being raised here. And in this case also, if uh, we think that this reading is wrong, we have a snooze button. We can snooze the whole circuit and see, uh, as you can see, reading is being taken, it is not normal. And I again, give a snooze button, it's going to be not normal. Now let's talk about the real life implementation of this project. Uh, basically we went through various studies, I went to various studies and I found that there are lots of deaths due to heart attack around the world uh, in 21st century also where we have so much technology around and still there are deaths due to heart attack. And the bad thing is they don't die due to heart attack, but they die because they are not able to get the medical help in the limited time that is after the heart attack. So basically what AIM study says is that if a person have a heart attack, the post 60 minutes of heart attack are very crucial. If he gets the proper medical help within the 60 minutes of heart attack, 80% chances are there that his life can be saved. So basically our device will provide him that medical help within that one hour of uh, one hour after the heart attack. So, and our device also covers the two basic needs of the Indian market. So, we are in the India market. So, the two basic needs of Indian market is first, kitne ka hai, and second, chalta kitna hai. So, basically, the device cost is below 900, so anybody can afford it. And secondly, chalta kitna hai. On, uh, we have made an efficient circuit so once you install your battery it can work for at least a week without further, further charging so once you plug it it will work without any fluctuation for a week and yes it's cheap under 900 anybody can get it so basically if you have the device then anytime if you get a heart attack I pray that it 
doesn't occur then you will get your help within that one hour post heart attack and your life can be saved now what could be the basic improvements that can be done in the project uh, and what is the future scope so basically it was the prototype we made a glove so we have very uh, we had very less time and so we made the glove but what we are thinking that we will lower the size and rearrange the circuit and this whole device will fit in a wrist uh, watch uh, size or the wrist band size and the whole device will fit in a wrist band which will be on your hand and only a single sensor will be on your fingertip so basically this glove will be removed you will be having a watch over here or a wrist band over here and a sensor over here so your hand will be totally free to do any work and yes cost will be still low as we are not adding something or doing something else in the circuit the circuit will remain as it is but, but we are just rearranging and trying to convert it to a small size or fit it, fit it like uh, to get it into a smaller device now why should we win this uh, competition so two basic things uh, which i see is there is no such device in the market like this there could be devices which are taking your heart beat but what my device does is it takes your heart beat it checks the condition of heart attack further it brings you help that too in a limited time and uh, yes it could really save uh, don't take my words take word from aim or times of india which says that if within that hour you get the help the life could be saved so my device is providing that help to the person to the patient that too as in a small uh, or in a low price under 900 is very cheap price and at that price the person is getting a device which is really efficient and is in a smaller size can be worn in daily use anybody can use it uh, and yes uh, it will help a lot of people and will save the life of many people now i conclude my presentation about the project uh, i hope you like my uh, you like my project and uh, it really wins the competition there could be some questions in everybody's mind uh, i thought some would be there uh, some of them i will be answering like some would be thinking that we are using an ir sensor uh, which could heat up your fingertip so we are using a 940 nm ir sensor uh, and as per my study but which i did uh, if your wavelength is 1.5 or above in nm then it causes a heat uh, and which can be considered but mine is 940 nm which is 0.94 so no considerable heat over there and yes if there there are in the uh, you are thinking about the efficiency so i provided the manual override so if there is any problem manual override is still there which could which, which uh, could get you the help and in case of error we have an smooth button and the device is cheap and is small size so basically we would be seeing such devices in the future thanks for seeing the presentation